you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension of not only a film and sound, but mind. A journey into an auditory movie review adventure that must be experienced to be believed. There's a signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Doomsday Clock. Week 89, 2 hours, 0 minutes to doomsday. All right, babe, so we've had a beach party. We've gone on a road trip. We've even gone to summer camp. I'd really just like to go to the beach and relax. Can you find me a movie about the beach, someone to just hang out with, and uh, we'll go from there. You do know that you are more than capable of using your monkey thumbs to search the database for your own movies, correct? Regardless, I will find you a movie about beaches and a suitable companion to watch it with. Blood Beach, 1981. Something or someone is attacking people one by one on the beach. Some of them are mutilated, but most of them are sucked into the sand, disappearing without a trace. What is the creature responsible? Where does it live? And where did it come from? And is there any chance of it reproducing? Pretty, isn't it? The beaches of L.A. Playground of America. Until this beach turned into a living nightmare. You said creature. Why did you use that word? I don't know. What would you call it? Blood Beach, man. Yeah, right on. Blood Beach. The beach is a weird beat for us cops. You've got the kids, the old people, the street fiddlers, those singles, uh... The crazies all lost in their own world. There was every form of human life on this beach. Madras Bermudas, a bleeding madras. They were kind of old, but you know, they were his favorite pair. They were still in good condition. But under the beach, there was this, I don't know, this horrible thing. And we still haven't figured it out. What the hell are we looking for? I don't know. But maybe if we dig deep enough, we'll find out. <laughs> We police always look for the obvious, but this wasn't normal. Nah, not even for California. Doctors figure that there's been considerable brain damage. How considerable? Vegetable soup. When something like this is chasing you, you hope you find it before it finds you. If it's human, or even if it's animal, it's got to have a place to go back to. It's kind of sad the way things have changed, huh, Mr. Selden? was any hope we didn't have it we didn't know a damn thing it's when you thought it was safe to go back in the water you can't get to it there comes a time when you throw out all the rules and you make your move blood beach it's an okay place to visit but I wouldn't want to die there. I can't find my feet. Oh, my God. Blood Beach. David Huffman, Mariana Hill, John Saxon, and Burke Young as Lieutenant Royko. Blood Beach.
where the water may be the safest place to be. Okay, so it's a beach movie. Fucking great. And you brought me someone who I don't know. So, uh, hey mate, who the fuck are you? Hey, I, you know, I almost went into one of those, uh, you know, I almost got swallowed by the sand, but hey, you seem pretty cool. I'm Desmond. What's up? All right. So, well, remember, don't walk into the light. That's what I understand. Don't walk into the light and uh, don't get sucked, at least by sand. Yeah. I mean, well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless that's your thing, then by all means, uh, cheerfully get sand sucked. I'm not uh, here to, I'm not here to kink shame. Not here to kink <laughs> no, shame. no, we don't. We never kink shame. <laughs> um, so we are talking about 1980s Blood Beach with a runtime of one hour and 32 minutes. It was directed by Robert Hiltzik, best known for writing and directing 1987's teenage girl favorite, Flowers of the Attic. And for writing the movie Snow Job in 1972, which is sadly not what I thought it was. Um, I thought that might have been the snow equivalent of this movie. <laughs> I but wish. I, that sounds amazing. It does. That would, that would be fucking great, right? It would be great. Just get sucked into the snow. It would be like, oh, but no, it wasn't. It was about some, I don't know. Uh, and P.S., by the way, Flowers in the Attic was a film that I used to watch over and over again as a little kid with my brother, and it scarred me for life. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And, and it fucking scarred everybody that saw that movie or read that book. That, that's some seriously messed up shit. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking messed up shit. It's so fucked up. It's just like, yeah. And, and anyone that was like able to consume media in, in the 80s fucking read that book, saw that movie, just went, nah, 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 it's <laughs> fucking it's all wrong, all fucking wrong. Everything. Yeah, everything about it is wrong. Speaking of things that are wrong, this movie stars David Huffman as Harry. Harry Calder, best known for 1978, Tear Jerker, Ice Castles, another one that everyone in the 80s saw, 1982's Firefox with Clint Eastwood, and the 1976 forgotten classic, Look What Happened to Rosemary's Baby. I don't know. I've never seen Look What Happened to Rosemary's Baby. That's like, I, I think that's yeah. like the, the proto look who's talking now. Yeah. I mean, or it's a cross between Look Who's Talking Now and, like, it being, like, uh, Satan Spawn? Maybe. Maybe instead of Bruce Willis, the baby talks with Satan's voice. That would be awesome. I, I like that. That sounds like a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, show me your tits. <laughs> that would be fucking great. Um, I like speaking it. of things that weren't so great, this movie also stars Mariana Hill as Catherine Hutton, best known for High Plains Drifter in 1973, alongside Clint Eastwood, again, uh, for playing Diana Corleone in Godfather Part 2, and for a slew of 60s and 70s TV like Batman, Star Trek, Hogan's Heroes, and Daniel Boone, which was a show I remember about a man wearing a raccoon on his head. I remember that too, yep. <laughs> there was something about... one of those hats. <laughs> ah, see, there you go. Every kid deserved to have a, a, a feral pussy on his head. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm, hey, hey. Now, <laughs> rounding out things that are a little bit feral, that brings us to Burt Young as Star Sergeant Royko, best known for being poorly in the Rocky movies, and there is a man whose face was really built for doing boxing movies because he is a ugly, ugly man. <laughs> I mean, he has a face only only Rocky could love, really. Indeed, indeed, and and maybe he did, and you know, I'm, I'm not here to kick shame. Um, exactly. Uh, and and of course, we we couldn't talk about the stars of this movie without mentioning John Saxon, who was clearly there just to pick up a paycheck. John motherfucking Saxon. I love that guy. I love John Saxon. My, my all-time favorite John Saxon is as Overdog in Space Hunter. That is my fucking favorite John Saxon. <laughs> I have to see that. Oh my god! I, you... I have not seen that. Oh, John Saxon in um like fucking silver makeup as this weird human robot hybrid with giant claw hands and metal teeth that su what sucks the life out of women. It's fantastic. <laughs> Wait, what is this called again? Space Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. It's fucking bonkers. I gotta watch this. This sounds amazing. Oh, it is. It's fucking... It is. And if you want a review of that, I did it probably several episodes back with, I believe, the now legendary Ricky Morgan. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna listen to that watch that movie. Sweet.
First impressions count. So the intro of this movie made me like straight away not ever want to go to the beach because it, it's a lot of just like weird under pier stuff and, and just sad. It's just and like yeah, just I'm there going no, this isn't a good beach movie. This is a shit beach movie. Yeah, you know, I after I so I own this on VHS, so it's like oh really shitty quality, old school, um, <laughs> old school, and um, that yeah, that was my first feeling too. I was like, damn, this is this isn't a beach I want to go to. Like, why would I be hanging down on the pier like a total perv? I'd like, yeah. I'd like the pervy area to hang out. Yes, that's where all like the junkies and and apparently the rapists live. Yeah, all of them. Every one of them. Yeah, well, as we found out later. Now, you know what? I, I have to uh, I have to commute to work at a time, but at no point in time I'm going, you know what? I really want to swim to work. That just sounded dumb. Oh, Harry, you're so lucky you get to swim to work. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like way too much fucking work, don't you reckon? Oh, my God. I mean... I- Everything ab- ab- about this film is just off, you know? It's yes. from the dialogue and just how everyone's reacting. Even when someone's being sucked down by the sand, you're like, yeah, that, you just seem a little uncomfortable instead yeah. of having your legs eaten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just just like to, uh, I stood in something, you know, what? I, I, I'm ankle deep in a puddle, not getting, like, sucked down. Now, speaking of sucked down, within five minutes, Ruth, uh, the old woman, gets sucked into the sand and... um. I was just watching it, just going, you're screaming, no one's listening. Um, it really looks like you've just thought, oh my god, my ankles are tied together and I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> she needs life alert. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. It's just, <laughs> I've fallen into some sand. Help me out. And then and just poof, straight away, just completely under the scene and gone. And, you know, it, <laughs> uh, and I'm there going, but, but what? No, that that didn't. Uh, I had so many questions about that, uh, and most of all, why was there no blood? Just, <laughs> just like I mean, I know it, it's called Blood Beach. Energy. Yes, no blood, no fucking no blood. blood on Blood Beach. No, it was very sad. Um, another thing that was sad was the cops. They did like what five hours worth of work, but ah, fuck it, she's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are the most incompetent police officers, and they literally will like run around with their guns drawn, and there might be a victim laying on the ground, and they'll like kick them to yeah. make them roll over. And it's like that's that's not how you do it, but okay. No. Yeah, you know, it's just, oh, you know, and then you go from that to <laughs> the shots in this movie that look like they're they're straight out of a feminine hygiene commercial. You know, oh, like yeah. soft glow, <laughs> and, and so, I, I, I'm going, this no, some days I don't feel so fresh. And I get sucked into the sand. So <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> I can do all my activities without a problem. I'm yes, free. I'm free. I wear white pants whenever I want. Yeah, good for That's you. That's a bad idea. All yeah, bad. You don't want to well, wear white pants. No. No one should ever wear white pants. Ever. It's not a fucking look. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just fuck that. Fuck your it's white not. Pants. <laughs> white pants and your fucking brown crotch um now <laughs> we, we finally get introduced to john saxon who just comes out and goes here's the complete like fucking first 15 minutes of the movie and the chief's gonna have my ass yeah thanks john thanks thanks so much <laughs> you earned your money that day <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and it's like the film almost gets a little more watchable and a little bit better when John Saxon's on screen, but that's not really saying a whole lot. No, no, it's really not. It's just, you know, I was waiting for him to just get his gun out and start shooting the scene. And just, just, fucking, <laughs> just randomly shooting. That would have been amazing. That would have been fucking great. But no, he didn't. He didn't. And uh, what we did get is uh, Paulie, because I'm not calling him fucking Royko. He's Paulie. He'll always be Paulie. Uh, telling us that apparently the Nazis <laughs> did it. Of course. What, what the That's fuck? That's the next logical option, right? It's it's the Nazis. Always the Nazis. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, don't worry about, like, weird monsters or geological. No, the fucking Nazis did it. They're borrowing up from their underground <laughs> to, to, to fucking steal people and do experiments on them and turn them into chuds. I don't fucking know. I wish I was watching Chud instead. Oh, every- <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, so, yes, I would have enjoyed. You put Paulie oh, in yeah. Chud, and this fucking everything about this gets one. John Saxon better. and Chud it would be fucking great. What? Right? Oh, yes, yes, that's a movie worth watching. But half, um, yeah. unlike the well, and, and half the time with the sand, like if it's there's like one particular shot, and I know I'm jumping ahead, but it's like at the credits, and it's right next to this woman's ass. It looks like she's farting into the sand. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's, like, half of these times where it looks like someone's farting into it and it's making, like, this whirlwind. And then other times where, you know, someone's, like, lightly caressing the sand as it goes into a whirlwind. Like, what? What is happening? Who are these people? Yes! What is wrong with these people? And that that was one of my notes. These people are all idiots. They are. Idiots. Oh you know, there's been murder, death, disappearances, everything else. But no, let's all go to the beach. It'll be fun. <laughs> No, it won't. You will You're die. You're going to get swallowed and not in the best way. No, no, not in a good way. <laughs> um, and even getting swallowed at, at, at the beach ends up with seeing, and, and that's not a good way either. <laughs> um, on the plus side, minute 24 and 30, they said the yes! title of the movie, and that actually made me happy. <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> that, that makes any movie better when they say, it's a blood beach. When they say the fucking title, I'm like, yes! <laughs> I wish someone would have corrected her and be like, no, bitch, there's no blood on the beach, so you're incorrect. Where's the fucking blood? You're incorrect. Didn't you see the feminine hygiene commercial oh. earlier? There's no blood. I mean, it's that is a great ad because it's not one drip of blood anywhere. Perfect. Tell me what you learned and keep it nice. So the first thing I learned about this movie is that Kat and Harry, our, our, our primary characters, have a history. And oh my fucking God, just get over it. <laughs> fucking, we, we get it. We fucking get it. You know what? Ruth was her mom and Kat was fucking, and she ran away to be an artist. And that apparently fucking really turned out well, because she's doing great. And yeah, fuck off, Harry. Yeah. Don't care. Don't give a shit about your very lame sexual tension. Yeah, you know, these little side stories where they try to get more characterization and plotting, it doesn't really work. I just want to see people get swallowed by the sand. That's it. That's that's what I want to see. And some fucking yes. blood. Where's the blood? Yes. I, I want to see Yeah, I want to see the blood on the beach. That's fucking as normal as it gets. Now, the other thing that I, I did learn is that no one wants to listen to the bag lady. Because she kept showing up. She was telling people shit was fucked. And no one listened. No one gave a crap about her. Yeah, and she was uh, she was super, super weird, too. It was like there was one point where it was at the beginning of the film where uh, the, the first lady is being swallowed by the sand. And she's looking out the window and she's like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Eh, sucks to be her. <laughs> Hardy har har sucks to be her. I'm just gonna stay up here in the <laughs> zinger. Uh, you know, zinger. But you know, like, she's there. She, she's wearing like a beret and like some sort of like stripper skirt and heels. And I'm going. I've never seen a fucking bag lady in like a, a fucking stripper skirt. And heels. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you go to the beach, the blood beach. You gotta look good. Well, yes, yeah. true enough. Maybe, maybe she's uh, she's doing a little bit of something. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, um, now you know what? When, when Kat says that she's divorced, I swear you can almost hear Harry's voice. <laughs> boing. <laughs> boing. <laughs> the look on the guy's face is like <laughs> yes. It's just, it's just a oh, unbelievable. And again, we get it, Harry. You want to bang it. <laughs> um, but seriously, no. Just don't because it was... Oh. And uh, look, the sex scenes in this movie, oh. could, if, if there was any more Vaseline oh. on the lens, it, <laughs> you would have been able to see oh. thumbprints. It was just... No. I don't... The, that's something that I would like to scrub from my brain. That's... I wish I'd never seen that. <sighs> No, bad, bad sex. No. Go back to the sand. Um, Get back to the sand. 
<laughs> yeah, again, back to the scene. And, and you know, you know what? You know, cause for all of the soft focus, we also get it. The monster lives under the fucking pier. All right. No, no. Show me another shot of the pier and put spooky music on it. Because I, I still don't get that the monster lives under the <laughs> fucking pier. It's so ominous, <laughs> so dark and ominous under the pier. Yes. Ooh, yeah, no, don't go to the, don't go under the pier. And again, ooh, it's <laughs> fuck off. All right, I get it. I fucking get it. <sighs> Um, the other thing I did learn that apparently, um, 24 hours is long enough for you to start dating after your girlfriend dies. Cause Harry's just like, no, nah, she's been gone for like a whole day. Fuck it. I'm, I'm right on cat. And just like, we'll go out for a drink. We'll have dinner. And it's like, dude, you're like apparently long time girlfriend. It was a bit of a flake. Um, yeah, she, she just like died, but no, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just we, we on. all grieve in our own ways. And his way to grieve is to stick his dick in something. I mean, come on. Nah, I can't judge the guy. I can't judge him. Yeah. Well, yeah, look, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, that, that uh, it's just fucking, it's just, it's <laughs> um, just, Look, and between you and me, no one should be called Moose, and least of all a woman. <laughs> I, you know, if if I were to call a woman a Moose, then I feel like I I, I would get punched in the face. You know, because when I when yes. I think of Moose, I think yes. of the lead character from the Fanatic, because his name is Moose. That, that is true, or um, the big idiot from the Archies, or if you prefer, the phrase moose knuckle, which is uh, another word that you should never call Wait, a woman. Is there a specific meaning meaning for moose knuckle? Well, I, I believe moose knuckle is the uh, the Canadian equivalent of... Oh. <laughs> now I have like a visual in my head trying to visualize a, a moose knuckle, which is not a good idea. Don't do that. No, 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 don't, don't visualize <laughs> Moose Knuckles. And least of all, don't visualize a woman that was called Moose, Moose, <laughs> Moose Knuckle. Um, cause it, it, it's not it's a pretty not sight. Good. Uh, no, but to each his own. Okay. Sure, that thing. Um, now, we, we mentioned it earlier, but this movie would have been better with chuds. And the, the dead metal detector guy looked like a chud <laughs> when he came out of, that, yes. out of the sewer. I was just gonna, Oh my God, yes, he's a chud. And I got really excited and then went, no, he's just like. And oh, that's when man. the cop like kicks him. He, like, kicks him over. Yes, that's when, when Paul... Yeah, Paul like, just gives him a bit of... Are you fucking dead? <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker's dead. Roll well, up. shit. And, uh, and, and, you know, they get him to hospital and they go, can he talk? And and Paul just goes, no, nah, vegetable soup upstairs. I'm just like, oh, you wow. are just... You're so, you are a, a piece dick. of work. You fucking are a piece of work. Yes. <laughs> Not <laughs> giving a fuck. I swear they just went... Look, they, they said, you know what? Here's a gun. Here's a badge. Just do what you want. Just fucking say it. And you're like, we'll record it. Don't worry. Yeah. It's all yeah. Good. It's all like one take. It's like, yep, that works. Let's move on to the next scene. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just fucking just keep going. We've got limited daylight. Um, now, the one thing that I, I did learn out of this movie is the best way to stay alive on the beach is to keep your legs Obviously. apart. Because if you stand like if you stand with your heels together, you're going to 100% get guaranteed sucked into the Yeah, sea. I mean, this is the one scenario where ladies spread your legs and you'll be okay. Yes. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Because everyone that got sucked in, feet together, and again... I, I don't walk on the sand that often, but I'm, I don't stand, like, fucking ankle to ankle on the sand because it's really hard. Yeah, and who does that, like, uh, on purpose? Like, no one does that in real life. No if I saw one. someone doing that in real life on the beach, I'd be like, you are a psychopath. What are you doing? <laughs> you, you fucking weirdo. It's not like you're trying to stick the landing in the for Olympics. <laughs> fucking just walk like a normal human. <laughs> what are you doing, Moose? Put your feet together. Yes. Ooh. But no, no, seriously, Moose, put them together. No one needs to see that. <laughs> no, no one needs to see that. Moose see that. How would you like to try something a little different? This'll keep you quiet. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. You caught me cutting a new show. I'm Bo Ransdell, and I'm one of the many creators you can find on Legion Podcasts. I said quiet! 
My fellow podcasters and I work hard to bring you the best in horror podcasting, but that comes at a cost. What's that like to live deliciously? Not that, but also yes. No, what I'm getting at is that there are server costs, costs for good microphones and software for editing, all the things that make our shows, you know, fun to listen to. And you can help. If you're enjoying the shows on legionpodcasts.com or in the Legion Network available on iTunes and Stitcher, just about anywhere you can download a podcast, really, you can help us out and get a little something for your trouble at patreon.com forward slash Legion Podcasts. For just two bucks a month, you get a pair of movie commentaries exclusive to Patreon, and for five dollars, you can also join us for a monthly screening of a movie. All of that available on patreon.com forward slash Legion Podcasts. We appreciate it, and thank you for listening. Now, back to the cutting room. I'm sure you've got questions. Ask me anything. <laughs> so the very the very start of this movie, apparently this is a run run Shaw movie. <laughs> and I went, now hang on a minute. Fucking the, the Shaw brothers make good movies, good martial arts movies. And I'm going, and I actually scrolled it back, and then I fucking googled it and went. Run Run Shaw fucking produced this movie. I'm going, what the fuck was going on there? Yeah, there's there's so many parts where I'm like, you had a really good idea here, but you done fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, we had a chud. <laughs> no, I fucked it. Uh, you know, we were in thermal imaging. We got half a chud. Uh, yeah, we got a half. Well, you know, sometimes yeah, that's I mean, all you, you know. Half a chud. Um... <laughs> Now, while I'm asking questions, why does the Harbour Patrol have a bear on their uniform patch? You know, these are questions that uh, scientists are still trying to figure out to this day. Well, ma- maybe, <laughs> maybe their fucking coroner, who was all about fucking evolution and, and everything else, maybe he could fucking explain a lot of this sea bears or something. Because, oh my god, he fucking just came up with the most random shit. Oh. He, he was fucking, he was bizarre, man. So, I don't know, like, like the, when the dog got killed, like the only blood you see in the whole fucking movie, when the dog gets killed, and he, he decided that it was, he was killed by either a really large man or an average sized man with giant hands and fingernails. What? Oh my God. Fucking what? There, there's so much about this that is like just defies logic. And these are the stupidest people. Like you said earlier, everyone in this movie is so fucking dumb. The smartest character in this film was probably the dog. Yes. Yes. Because, you know, and again, no one no one paid attention to the dog. The, like, the dog's there fucking digging it where, where Ruth got sucked under. And they're all just going, ah, dog. And I'm going, do you not get it? Like, fucking, have you never watched an episode of Lassie? Fucking <laughs> pay attention to the dog. All right, she fell down the motherfucking well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bitch out. They, like, somehow always miss, like, the swirling sand. That there's always swirling yes. sand. It's like, hello, there's, there's, there's swirling sand right there it looks like the sand is either farting or burping maybe both at the same time look at it yes look at it fucking dig it up which eventually they try to do badly um <laughs> speaking, speaking of things that, that were bad um harry's soon to be dead girlfriend um she she fucking smiles like the joker and it creeped me the hell out <laughs> like she's getting all sexy and then pulls a joker smile and i'm going <laughs> literally made my erection go backwards it was just <laughs> no no. Yeah, I, I I feel like I even had a moose knuckle after <laughs> seeing that smile. I was like, ooh, yep, that just happened. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, just, uh, which is, I think, secretly why Harry didn't care that she just... Oh, yeah. Eh, yeah. no loss. Yeah. No, 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 you know, he'll be fine. I mean, he 24 yeah. hours in between his last girlfriend, he'll find a new one. No problem. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Now, we, we, did, we did mention it earlier, but um, no one ever fucking closes the beach. No one. And it's just like... It's not like you're making money. Like, they're not paying entrance to the beach, right? So, fucking close that shit down. Right, yeah. No one goes to the beach for the sand. Like, that's not the main thing they go for. Like, I mean, Anakin Skywalker said it best that, you know, the one line that he couldn't say right, he fucked it up in the Clone Wars, but how sand gets everywhere and it's terrible. You you know, it it is. It sucks. (laughs) And they're trying to do this whole Jaws thing, and it's like... No, see, the problem with this whole logic is that people want to go to the water. People want to go to the water. They don't want to just hang out on the sand and finger it. 
<laughs> Again, unless that's your thing and hey, get more power to not you. trying to kink shame. If you'd like finger and sand, good for you. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Now you mentioned it. You know where we want to get to the water, and John Saxon actually fucking says just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, and I've gone. Oh, that's the point. I actually looked at the my, my TV and said, "Fuck you." I said, "Fuck you, John Saxon." And that line is on the cover of the VHS tape. Yes, it's on the promo. It's on the fucking poster. I'm going, again, were you hoping that people go, oh, that's right. There was that bit in Jaws that was really cool. No, this is nothing like that. You will be it's, angry. It's not that cool, actually. <laughs> it's, no. Because it's once we get the reveal of the monster, it's just like, oh, really? That's that's yeah. it? That, that that's that's the thing. Uh, oh, okay, all, all right. Now, while while we're there, why did why did they leave it until like after dark to start digging up the beach? Oh my fucking... god! Right? <laughs> fucking and, and idiots! All that, all that shit just like all that equipment appeared, and they're like literally digging up the beach. But there didn't seem to be much of a plan. It's just like nah, there. Just yeah, <laughs> dig a hole there. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some. Let's try it out. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's seven o'clock right now. Yeah, we got enough daylight. I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll just start digging shit and again. It's just like what the fuck movie. Now, um, one one thing that did make me laugh it was um, and I just want to be hundred percent sure the monster did bite off the rapist's dick, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Dick was yeah. was bitten off. Absolutely. Which means he actually had to have jammed his dick into the sand. Hey, I mean, you know, whatever. Hey, not here to kink shame. If you're like, hey, that sand looks mighty nice right now. Pretty sexy, but it, do- it does make me wonder why you bothered to try and rape that girl if it was all about the sand. Uh, you know, I mean, some people are just like really insecure about their kinks. Sure. But maybe he just wanted someone to watch it. Maybe that's what <laughs> it could be. It could be. It's like, hey, you want to see me plow this sand? Step back. <laughs> yeah. So, and again, that's not a conversation you have with your average. Person. Um, I want to. I want to ask you a question. John Saxon's in with the council members. He gets angry and he starts throwing out abuse like crouch bunnies and amen snorters. What the. F- Fuck. If this was supposed to be for you to rally the troops, it ain't working, buddy. It ain't working. No. No, cause I, I, I'm there going, none of this is going to be on Urban Dictionary, John. You, you're not, <laughs> you, you're not, you're not throwing out winners there. <laughs> it's just like, oh, just fucking, you know what? Just call them a bunch of skanks or something and just, just walk out. I want to hear John walk. Saxon call a, a group of like grown men skanks. That would be amazing. Yeah. You bunch of skanks. You fucking skanks. <laughs> you skanks. I'm getting paid for this shit. <laughs> skanks. Hey, hey, you, Moose Knuckle. Fuck you, you're a skank. <laughs> See, that's what we've done. <laughs> I'd pay for that movie. That would be yes. Yeah, that would be enough for the I, price of admission. That would be. Your time is almost Why? up. It's called so like, give me your final like thoughts. Beach on, I don't know. I can't come up with a name, but it's... What the fuck? What the fuck, movie? Yeah. Yeah, there was no fucking Annette Funicello in this beach movie. There was no need for singing. All right? Fuck your, fuck your singing and your fucking hillbilly haircuts and shit. Just fuck off. <laughs> hillbilly haircuts. <laughs> fuck it. Well, I mean, there was some serious 70s hair in that oh, fucking yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. There was one guy with, like, a really luscious fro. It was ah, beautiful. Yes. And it would kind of bounce, we, too. We, when he was going into the yeah. sand, it was, like, bouncing everywhere. It was great. It was, he, he did look very pretty. Like, he spent a bit of time, and good luck with that. Um, <laughs> but the, the, the old pier, it's condemned. We get it, because we've seen it, like, fucking 25 times in this movie. But uh, apparently, really easy to get into. Uh, anyone could just fucking stroll up, crawl into the completely condemned building, and, and the weird, uh, weird underground sand and everything else. And that's fine. Yeah, again, this film, like, it defies all logic, which in in one way is kind of impressive, where it's like, wow, like, you don't know how to make a movie. Jesus Christ. (laughs) That is 
almost I, I have to kind of give you a little applause for that movie you don't know how to make a movie well done yeah yeah well well, well done you made a movie that's just no fucking logic to it i fully expected to see at least one junkie and possibly a vampire living under that pier already um, a better movie right there a junkie and a vampire under a pier with a monster under the sand sign me yeah. up that sounds awesome fighting chuds that's it that fucking mo- that movie is done 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 now you know we finally get well what should have been some gore when all the body parts just drop out of i think the ceiling i, I wasn't sure where they all came from <laughs> yeah. and why the fuck the monster's hiding body parts in the ceiling i don't know but you know what no blood right yeah you would you would think you would think that there would be blood but this it it seems like this monster is like you know what i'm going to put these baddies over here just at the right moment i'm going to drop them make sure that they're bloodless and make a nice little jump scare (laughs) yes and i would have got away would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids um because it was fucking scooby level shit fuck you monster um now on the complete reverse you know john says you know i want this area completely wide up with cameras and infrared and everything else and it was done in a matter of fucking minutes minutes cameras infrared sound everything all fucking done and i'm there going look i don't know that much about wild animals but i'm pretty fucking sure nothing no wild animal is going back to that place after there's been like a fucking 300 humans in there yeah i i I, I just again everything about this movie just defies logic and on one hand it's it's impressive but on the other it's like are you fucking stupid? Like, what? what is happening? Did you put sand in your brain? Is there sand in your brain? No. It is sand. It's, you, you, the sand got sucked into your... That's what it was. In your ear and fucking out the other side. <laughs> now, it's, 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 oh, and, you know, they put the coroner in charge. Why the fuck is the coroner in charge of, like, half this shit? Because that dude was, like, one stitch, one stitch corpse away from Frank. Yeah, he's, good, he's good with he people. He was a weird motherfucker. He was just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm well, bumped. In pieces, anyway. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, he was just, oh, fuck off. Again, come and have a look at this. You know what? I looked at the, the infrared and everything else. I couldn't tell what it was. That could have yeah, been. Yeah, on, on the VHS copy, it's just everything about it just looks like shit. Every scene looks like shit. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck is happening? I don't know what's happening. This film is so badly shot and I can't see a goddamn thing. And when the monster does show up, it's like, wait, it, it just... It just looks like a plant and they're like moving the camera around it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. What is happening? Yes. A, a plant with taste and quite possibly a squirm uh, in the middle of its mouth. It's like a what? fucked up succulent. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, again, they are the fucking trippers. What the fuck movie? Uh, and, and yeah. Then it just gets blown up. Cause that's how you handle it. Blow it I mean, up. Cause they're like, oh, well they blew up the and... shark and jaws. So. Hmm. Yeah, that that's mm, we'll just blow it up and it'll be all good. And in usual fashion, the very next day, everyone one just says does. fuck it and goes back to the beach. The very As one does. Next These guys are fucking, fucking stupid. Day. Yeah, no, like no searching for you know the corpse or trying to look for bodies or you know maybe a bit of an inquest in to work out who's been missing and all that. No, everyone just goes back and t- t- this this next five minutes. It has to be the most fucking trying part of this whole movie. Because they're all there, everyone's laughing, and then one second, little Sean, who apparently doesn't want a sandwich, disappears, <laughs> and it's, Oh no, Sean! And I go, okay, I, you know, I get it. The monster's back. But then we spend five fucking minutes watching people, like, have little bits of sand farts come up near them. And I'm going, no, no, I get it. I get it. There's more monsters. No, no, seriously, we can stop right now. Fucking it's stop so the movie weird. right These now. These ending credits, like, yeah, there's like a shot that goes right in on a woman's ass. And it looks like she just started farting into the sand, which just cracked me up. I was like, this is amazing. It's the best part of the movie. Yes. <laughs> Uh, then, then I goes know. The dude who's like he was getting in there the too. Scene. He was like, "Yeah, you <laughs> like just... that, don't you, Sandy? You like that little swirls? Mm-hmm. You like that? <laughs> you dirty, you dirty <laughs> sand. You dirty sand." <laughs> and it's just like, uh, it's just like, fuck off. Oh. Just keep late. Like uh, it was almost like they're going. No, no, we'll keep showing this because someone might give us money to yeah. make a sequel. They fucking won't. They <laughs> fucking won't. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> they didn't get a sequel. Thank God. <laughs>
Well, Desmond, thank you so much for joining me on the couch. It was fantastic to have you here. Hey, it was great. I mean, it, it beats being out of that sand and watching that weird dude finger it. Yeah, well, you know, people should finger sand on their own time. Now, speaking of things that they could do in their own time, is there anything that people could do that they could hear you do on your time? Well, you know... You- I, I should start at OnlyFans, but what I have right now is a is a podcast called Desmond's Flicks on the Legion Podcast Network. Oh, and we love a bit of Legion over here. Love it. Oh yeah, love Legion, and uh, just released uh, a Hellraiser episode, um, and uh, also have a YouTube channel called Desmond's Flicks where I review all kinds of horror films. Um, but yeah, man, it was so much fun coming on here and talking about this really shitty movie. But at least we had a lot more fun talking about it than watching it absolutely and thank you john saxon for fingering my sand you have been listening to which versus the doomsday flock a proud member of the legion podcast network come join the rest of the meat popsicles in our facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash which versus the doomsday clock savage, 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 savage.